Eh? The last chief was very good. Ah, I didn't like him. He had funny eyes. You shouldn't be looking at people's eyes. Or stand here gossiping. You should be out there selling me and making me money. Ah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> I was wondering when you're going to come. Eh? Welcome home. Good to see you too, Mama Boga. I had to pick up a few things for Mom and I thought I would come and say hello. How is your father? The doctor says that he should be home in a couple of weeks. I knew he was going to be okay. He's as strong as a bull. Eh? And that great regard, Diana, she must be very happy to see her mother. Well, if she is, she's not showing it. I'm trying to get to know her again. Although it can be a little bit difficult with Mom. She can be a bit overpowering. Hey, hey, hey. A bit. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. I want to talk to you about the marketplace. It's filthy and beginning to smell. Huh? You speak as though we've not asked the council to come and clean it up. Can't you clean this up yourselves? The new chief is arriving today, and I want this place to look as good as possible. Hang on. It is not our work to clean garbage. We have come to your office several times, but you're always too busy. Well, being a councillor is a very important job. And I don't always have time to listen to everybody with a garbage collection problem. Councillor Mabuki, doesn't your job include listening to your constituents and taking all their issues seriously? After all, that's why they voted for you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Miss Baraga. I didn't realize you took such a keen interest in the goings on in Makutano or in our politics. Forgive me for interfering in something obviously too big for me. I should stick to what I know, like the kitchen, right? Goodbye, Mama Boga. <laughs> How can you be done? The day has just begun, my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Matano. It's just, I've been here since before sunrise trying to balance the books. And how are they balancing? And they're fine. It's just, without my speedy, my workload has doubled. And plus, there's all the work to do on the farm. I hardly have any time to sleep. Well, it's better to have some work than none. A cup of milk. Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Mutani. <laughs> Maybe you better take the day off and relax. The people of Makutano can do one day without the milk bar. I don't think my dad wants me to relax, even for a second. <laughs> but you're right, I'm no good here. Why don't you go and see that girlfriend of yours? Red! <laughs> Small Sharon. Thanks, Mr. Matano. <laughs> you had a heart attack. That is very serious. You need to rest. Surely your farm can do without you for a couple of weeks. Absolutely not. <sighs> Mr. Baraka, you need to take it easy. That is, if you want to live. Old age has caught up with you. And you need to change your lifestyle. What does that mean? Uh, reduce your pace. No, go slower. Hello, old friend. You look like you'll live to see your hundreds. Not if the good doctor here kills me with boredom. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was thinking of saving his life. <laughs> I just met your daughter. She's just like her mother, isn't she? Oh, yes. We are all very proud of her. Is everything ready? I'd like to show the new chief. What a fine health facility the people of Makutana have. My nurses and I are ready as always. Can't speak for the patients, though. I'll be nice to the chief. I only hope PP is taking good care of my farm. We were meant to meet for breakfast. I know. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Can you expect me to believe that? It's the truth. I was up all night balancing the books for the milk bar. And without my speedy there, my workload has doubled. Not to mention all the stuff on the farm because my I dad... I don't want to hear any more excuses. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Good. Tonight we go dancing. Uh, couldn't we just... Re okay, of course. No problem. Dancing it is. <laughs> if you two are finished, there's a customer waiting, eh? In a minute. Uh, 
that you can make it up to me with kisses. I, I, I've forgotten it's my time to milk the cows. I'm sorry, I'll see you later. I have to be there to welcome the chief so that when I have a problem, he will remember my smiling face. Hey, Caris, that is some bling you have there. Did you rob a bank? No, oh, just some business which paid off. And this is just the start. Mm. Soon, I'll have cars and houses. <laughs> and what is this business? I might want to give it a try. <laughs> some people are so selfish and mannerless, treating other people's workplaces like their own private hangout just to gossip about personal matters. Bill, hurry up. I have to go and see Sheryl. Ah, that chick has you wrapped around her little finger, eh? Hey, brother. Yes. I have to go and visit some women's groups. Uh -huh. Make yourself useful. Stop if you see blood. I got the things that you wanted. Mom, can I talk to you a while? Later. I'm busy. No, Mom, now. We haven't had a chance to talk. I know it's been a manic week, but... Uh, I said later. I may look like I'm just playing around this place, but I'm doing something. Someone has to think about the future of this family. Your father might die, and no one knows where his briefcase is and all his papers. Oh, that will be fine. Dr. Charles said so. This time, what about next time? What would you know? Everything's done for you while you are off enjoying life in the city, and occasionally come home to give us all heart attacks. Oh, now it's my fault, is it? Someone is to blame for what happened. Oh, I thought you changed after all these years, but clearly I was wrong. I need to wash my hair. It's itchy. Oh, I'll do it for you. I've got this really nice shampoo. It smells of fruits I and all this. I want your shirt to do it. Oh, fine. I have to go out for the afternoon anyway. This work is too hard. Ah, you should be glad you have it, especially with the twins on the way. Eh? Margaret, are we going? Mm, yeah, I'm ready. Hey, where are we going? Who said you're going anywhere? You stay here and take care of our stores. Hey, haven't I done enough for today? Apenji, do you want this work or not? Okay, I will stay. Good, we are going to see the chief. I hope he's tall and handsome. I hope he's fat and short. What? I find it easy to trust such men. Hey, Mama Boga, you're <laughs> such a crazy woman. Hey! Hey! hey. Uh, Karis, I hear you're lending money. Really? And why is it any of your business? My butcher is just taking off. I need money to cover my costs. Ah, oh, maybe I can help you. Do you have anything you can put on as collateral? Uh, not on me, but I, I, I can get, get some. Well, uh, bring it to me and I'm sure we can do business. Thank you. If I survive today, I'll have to throw a party for myself. That boy, Pipi. -pee. It was his turn to milk the cows. Now I'm late with my deliveries and now this. He's leaving everything for me to do. He thinks he's such a big man stealing the woman of my dreams. <laughs> and now he thinks he doesn't have to work. Well, I'm going to have a rest. What are you doing here, sitting like there's no work to be done? What time is it? Where is Pippi? I'm just about to, Mama, but uh, my bike had a puncture. The fact that my husband is in hospital does not mean it is a holiday camp around here. Get Pippi now. He had to go and uh, see somebody. Find him and tell him to come to see his father immediately. You should try and walk. I'm not ready. You'll have to try. I promise you I will. Tomorrow. Wake up, please. Wake up. It's very important. What is it? I've searched for it the whole house. Where did you put it? What? The briefcase. Oh no, not again. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't have a briefcase. Mrs. Baraka. Stay out of this, doctor. This is family business. Will you please excuse us after you put him down? Thank you. Oh, hello, Paris. Yeah. What is she doing? Driving me mad. Makes marriage look more like a battlefield than wedded bliss, huh? <laughs> 
one, Father. I'll see you later. Good morning, Rose. You look as lovely as ever. Thank you. Um, I hope the chief has time for me. I'd like to discuss some improvements to the school. Why don't I give him a tour of the school after the birth? That would be very kind of you. Thank you. Have you heard Nimless's new song? Na sinzi ya nikikuaz. Oh, mi akarudi mi akanenda. Oh, it's the greatest Kenyan hit ever. Hey, speak for yourself, my dear. Did you say zingi ne na ropo kwa maneno ya nitoka ju ya penzi? Imagine listening to that in a disco. But there, I wonder if the new chief will allow us to have a disco here. I doubt it. Chiefs are old-fashioned. The only entertainment they know is school choirs. You might just be surprised. Hey, but if you want a disco, will you go? My mom will die before she lets me. Who says she has to know? Boys, Pippi, you guys seem to be connected at the lips these days. <laughs> Pippi, I'm still not talking to you, but I'm following my orders to tell you to go to the hospital. And your mother's breathing fast, so I'd run if I were you. Must be the wait. I'm sorry about this morning. Hey, has the chief arrived? Am I we are it? No, but he should have been here by now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Makutano's new chief. A female chief, eh? That is such a joke, eh? I put up. Hey, yeah, wa. It does not look good. <laughs> <laughs> now what is funny? Eh? Don't you think a female chief is good enough for us? Mm. Eh? She will understand the problems more than a man would. Ah, ah, ah. If she was from Makutano. Hey. She is from Makutano. But she does not know what goes on here. Eh? She left her daughter to be brought up by the grandmother. Hey. What can she do for us? Hey. Eh? Hey, wait. I can't wait to see Papa Tomas's face when I tell him about this. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen Mr. Mabuki's face. Hey. I thought he was going to fail. <laughs> You should have held a brother, as was once. It was important. I don't think so. Besides, I've had enough excitement for one week. Barazas are for serious matters, and I needed to look around. Congratulations, Chief. Oh, thank you. You know Rosa Mulani? She's the headmistress of our local primary school. Oh, yes. I hear you're doing a very good job. Thank you. Well, there are a few things that are... Just a minute. Um, first... I would like to look at the school's literacy levels, uh, sanitation, and ways to use the existing budget more efficiently. Well, that has... Do you think you can have that on my desk by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning? Of course, yes. Now, what I wanted to... I'm sorry. I'm on a very tight schedule. We must keep moving. But Rose has important issues. Oh, well, yes. And I look forward to hearing them some other time. A female chief. Wow, I'd like to be like that someday. Imagine a man with power who looks great in uniform. I don't know, but it's a bit weird. Though my mom wouldn't have liked it. Hey, but even my dad would have fought it. Why? He was kind of traditional. That is hey. sexist. Maybe, but it's the truth. She won't last. Hey, young lady, get into the house now. I should be going to. I have a ton of homework hey. to do. Come on, I'll lock you. I know shut up. Mama, you scared them away. Hey. Young lady, you are too young to be hanging around boys. But Mama, I told you that they're my friends. Listen, mm -hmm. boys are very dangerous, especially when they get to that age. You have to be very careful, my daughter. But Mama... No, but I don't want a cast baby in my house. Eh? Mama... Should you fall into any temptation of sleeping with that boy, you will get pregnant. Mama... You are uncircumcised, do you know that? Do you know the shame that I'll have if you bring a baby here? Mom, I have some homework to do. Hey. Huh? 
All the time we were here waiting for the new chief and she was right here. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, let's get down to business. I have numerous initiatives I want you to run. I'm a qualified nurse and I've been working with the UNDP. Impressive. That's why I'm putting healthcare and increasing people's awareness on the top of my list. I want you to run seminars on family planning and reproductive health. And really encourage male participation. I see you have it all thought out. Yes. In fact, I want you to reach out to the community more. Uh, go to them. Don't wait for them to come to you. Be assertive, but friendly. If you'll excuse me, I have some serious matters to attend. I think he's finding it difficult accepting a female chief. He's not the only one. It's a very brave step that you've taken. Why do men find it so difficult accepting a woman in a position of power? I'm the most qualified person for the job. I know. But you take time for us men to get used to it. Well, you'd better, and fast. The world is changing, and I'm not going anywhere. Does my mom know? Believe me, if she did, I would have heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have everything? Yes. Are you sure, son? Just to be on the safe side, read back what you've written. We don't have the whole day, PP. Clean the cow shed and put new hay in. Supervise the repair of the sheller. Make sure my speedy gets the evening delivery on time. Make sure the beans are aired in readiness for beating. Supervise the maize harvest. Uh, prepare the granary for loading of the beans that have dried up. Good. And add taking care of the children in the evening. I'll be staying with your father late. But mom, I have plans. What plans? I'll... Why don't you ask Hope? She's Dana's mom. Ask Hope what? What are you wearing? Mom? Dad? I'm your new chief. <laughs> this must be the longest shortcut I've ever been on. Oh, sorry about that. You know I'm avoiding going home. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Because I wanted to hang out with you a little more. I thought you liked hanging out with your brothers and sisters. I do, but sometimes, you know, I get sick of being their parent. You're so lucky. You have all the freedom in the world. No one asking you where you're going and what you're doing. It must be something. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, you miss someone bossing you around. You should try living with my mom. You get over it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I, I, I thought you liked me. I do, but... <laughs> Damn, you're such a little girl. You're upset about it, aren't you? You dare ask. Oh, come on, Mama. Oh, don't come on me. After everything I did to get you out of this place, after all the sacrifice I put in your education so that you can have a good job. Bernadette. And now you tell me you quit all that to be the chief of a village? That is enough. I came home to serve my community and to get closer to my daughter. What community? They don't even know you. As for your daughter, don't you think it's a bit late? I thought you would be happy for me. But obviously I was wrong. Excuse me, I have some work to do. And you? Why are you just standing there when there's so much work to be done? So what did you bring me? This is just a one-time thing. I don't make a habit of going to Shylock's. Of course. Of course. I think I'll journey for one of those. I've had quite a day. I'll uh, come to the butcher with the payment for the meat order later. Oh, all right. Thank you. I'll be waiting. You know, Sam, a wedding is supposed to be the happiest time of your life. But for you, it seems to be the opposite. Mm. You don't have to do it, you know. If you're having the slightest of doubts, don't marry her. We're talking about the rest of your life. And here I was thinking you'd hate me for not doing the right thing. 
The right thing is about being honest with yourself. And her. Wish me luck. Thanks, Dad. Just like her mother. Listen up. This marketplace is extremely filthy. We cannot continue to work like this, in this environment. It's becoming a hazard. Now, I know that some of you have presented your case to the area councillor on more than one occasion, and yet no action has been taken. Am I right? Am I right? We are the ones suffering while they sit in the luxury of their offices. And I, for one, have decided I'm going to do something about it. And I'm hoping that you will join me if you're tired of living in this environment. Now, I know that some of you may think that it is not your job to clean. Just like some may think that a woman has no right to be a chief. But let me tell you something. You, 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 all of you can make a difference in this marketplace, just as I can make a difference in Makutano. All we have to do is work together. Thank you for listening. Have you seen Smashar? Getting ready for your big date. <laughs> Look, tell her I can't make it tonight. She will kill you. I know, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> is for the blue bedroom. I like the contrast. It's just great. Green and blue. Are you listening to me? Hmm? The thing is, I think we should wait. For what? For you to be fully recovered. Are you trying to tell me something, Charisma Buki? Look, I don't think I'm ready for this kind of commitment. I'm calling off the wedding. You what? You can walk. It's a miracle. Goodbye, Sharon. Karis, wait, I can explain. Karis! Well, well, well. If it isn't the little Benedict. What is she doing now? What the Baraka women do best, creating attention. Mr. and Mrs. Mabuki, can't you join in? Some of us have real jobs to do. Is this your idea of governing? Street parties? Well, part of it. Let me give you some advice. You might have helped them clear up the garbage, but that doesn't mean you've won their respect. Not yet, but I will. You won't last here, Hope. You just watch me. 